This man scouted for a long time. He obviously understood running a farm system for a long time. So he would have been behind the wheel of one of these golf carts. Tony Regan's now Senior Vice President of Youth Baseball uh, for Major League Baseball. I guess the first question simply is this. I mean, you, you come down here, you see all these young players, and I know your target's even much younger, getting youngsters you, to, to run the game, but you come to an event like this, you understand your goal and your role. What are your instant thoughts seeing this gathering? That there's more interest in the game than I think that's out there um, publicly. I think there's a lot of interest and a lot of people playing the game. And I think what's really important is that we need to, to let people know that kids are out there playing. So the efforts that have been made by your bosses to merge the content, obviously to do those things, to continue to be on those smartphones for those millennials to love the game of baseball, uh, beyond that, uh, in your day-to-days with the commissioner, what are some of his goals? Just growing the game uh, and making the great game accessible to young kids and really in all communities and, and from all backgrounds. We want to carry on the tradition of baseball for generations to come. And we think it's extremely important that we capture them while they're young. And uh, we're excited about what lies ahead. We think this is a great time in our game. Uh, with the postseason going on right now, it's a lot of excitement, a lot of good baseball being played. And we want to capitalize on that and we want to make sure that our brand is out there um, and, and, and we're getting kids attached to the game of baseball in a, in, in a new and fun way. You spoke of and you hinted to uh, diversity uh, in the game of baseball. Expound upon that with regard to the game's goals. Uh, yeah, we want, to, we want the game obviously to grow and we want all kids from all backgrounds playing, but we still want to emphasize the importance of the, the African American player playing um, at the higher levels of the game, not only at the professional level, but in college. Uh, we, we know that it's important that, that young African Americans see other African Americans playing at the highest level. And uh, from my office, we're, we're, we're putting in programming to, to address that issue. A, a lot of kids that we, we're targeting um, aren't on, are not fortunate enough to be in these types of situations in this type of environment because of finances. So we want to bring, uh, we want to eliminate that financial barrier and just make the game accessible to them uh, so that they get the opportunity that every other kid in the country gets. Is that hard to do? I mean, does that mean some shifting of funds and providing scholarships and getting fields. I mean, we're, the game's been doing that for about a decade specifically, but is it hard to do? It's difficult to do, but uh, if you're committed to doing it and being a part of it and that's your your, your passion, uh, it can be done. And, and we have to start somewhere, and we have, and we're going to continue to work hard and, and really put our efforts in promoting the game and giving kids from all backgrounds an opportunity to play. So you have a gathering like this with so many baseball people and scouts. So put your, put your scout hat on, put your GM hat on uh, when, with your time with the Angels. How beneficial is it to have all these talented players in more of a game setting, not a showcase setting, in this one place? It's, um, it's good because it, it does one, two things. One, it, it gives you an opportunity to, to see a lot of different players, see the good look at for, for a short instance but see a lot of different players at one time. So from a budget standpoint, you know, that's helpful. And then two, it allows you to interact with your, your, your competition um, and really get a, get a sense of, you know, what the competition is thinking as far as evaluations. But I think what I like about this whole situation is that the kids are playing and, and there's a lot of energy and a lot of excitement. I mean, I'm, this is golf cart central, so we, uh, <laughs> I haven't seen so many golf carts in my life, but this is, it, it's exciting. This is the first time I've been down. Um, you know, my travels, you know, ha haven't brought me down the perfect game, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. So for finally, from what I understand, it's important to perfect game, their alignment with you and, and being a part of it. And so it's also important for perfect game to, to fall into line and they're doing their best, I would imagine, uh, with a lot of the commissioner's initiatives to listen to what you guys have to say with regard to youth baseball, and let's wrap it up with health. I mean, with regard to Pitch Smart, I know from what I've heard from PG, Pitch Smart's important. They will be an advocate. They will be in your army of Pitch Smart people. Um, good choice by PG, obviously. Yeah, it's a it's a great choice. I think it's 
that's uh, from a synergy standpoint, we're trying to encourage all the youth programs out there to, to get involved with FitSmart. Um, in its simplest form, it's safety, health and safety. Um, with the, the rash of Tommy John surgeries at age 15, you know, it only makes sense that we have some type of control on, on the medical side of it. And if we can, um, let's embrace it. Uh, we have, we've done the history and we know the research and we know uh, what happens to that type of player when they have a surgery at uh, age 15. We know it's going to happen again. And then if it happens again, then their career is probably going to be short. So it, it, it makes a lot of sense that a lot of the youth programs out there get involved in Pitt Smart, and we're encouraging it and, and our strong advocate, advocates of it. And USA Baseball has really been a leader in, in that area. They've done a lot of research, and Dr. Andrews has been involved, which is, uh, you know, provides credibility to the program. So um, and that's some of the discussions that we're going to have today with Perfect Game with Andy and, and, and his group. And, and we look forward to working together. We're, we're, we know Perfect Game is an important piece of the youth baseball landscape, and we see how we can uh, we can do things together to make the game even bigger and better than, than it has been before.